Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun video, I want to try to teach you and educate you on why I have my scroll saw at the angle it's at. The angle of my scroll saw is one of the most common comments I get in videos, and especially if I do a singular post where I film with my camera and I prop it up against something and you get a whole view of the scroll saw, that is the number one comment I get. What angle it is, why do I have it at an angle, and the main reason is comfort. I've been to other people's houses and that have workshops and also several other YouTubers that I've seen that have scroll saws and do scroll work. They're scroll saws at a perfect 90 degree angle and they're sitting there like this the whole time. You know, they're hunched over it and it looks like they're having a hard time holding the piece and I'm like, man, their shoulder and neck has got to be hurting them. I can sit out here in comfort. I can come out here in the morning with my bottle of water, turn on some good music and the hours will fly by and I won't feel a bit of fatigue and then I'll end up looking at my watch and be like, hey, it's time to go in for lunch. So a lot of it is comfort. Think back to when you were a kid, when you went to school, or at least in my neck of the woods, the school desk up till around middle school were angled. Just think back. You probably never even realized it, but the only issue we had back then was when we put our pencil down, it would roll down and hit the floor. But the school desk were at a slight angle. That is the same concept here, and it reduces fatigue. And again, I can be out here all day scrolling and have a blast. But really, really cool. I do have my table saw angle gauge here. We're going to put on it and find the correct angle that we have here. And I've also got the tape measure here. We're going to measure and document each of it here on film, each level and everything. One thing to keep in mind is your height. I am six foot two inches tall and the workbench that the scroll saw is on was my grandfather's original workbenches. All of them are out here and I just can't bear to tear them down and build some to my height and that would accommodate to me. When I ended up reaching adulthood, I ended up being taller than him, and I'm actually right now the tallest member in my family at the time of this video. But keep that in mind. I do have the foot switch. I do sit down when I'm scrolling, and I want to measure all that out and show it to you guys on film, and then at the end, I'll be sitting at my scroll saw so you can see the comfort that I am in. So let's move the camera and get some measurements. And here we have the full scrolling area. Again, there's the stool I sit in. And one good thing about having the scroll saw on an angle, and a severe angle, what most people call it, that I have, is that when I do an internal cut on the scroll saw, the internal cut usually slides right down the table into the waste bucket there. And when the bucket's full, it gets dumped into the wood stove during the winter or the fire pit during the summer. But really, really cool. We're going to begin by measuring the front of the scroll saw table and it is right at 44 inches that is what is facing me directly the work stool I sit in this craftsman one here is right at 32 inches the foot switch clocks in and again it's on the second level here is right at 19 and a half inches drop the tape measure some and the back of the scroll saw is right at six, six and a quarter inches. Keep in mind, again, this is all catered to my height and my use. And now we're gonna turn on the digital angle gauge and we will zero it out. There we go. And we are gonna put it on the scroll saw table. Try to get it dead center there. And it looks like it is at a 15.9 right at a 16 degree angle but again I scroll in comfort out here for a long long time hours on end and it's just comfortable for me and everyone that's come out here and tried and took a lesson from me has also said that they love the angle too and they usually immediately go back and put the scroll saw on an angle themselves I hope that kind of speaks for itself the level of comfort you get here and again the work table here I do love the L shaped one here I do have some tools right here some allen keys for micro adjustments with the chuck heads if they ever get out of line and a file to file the back side of the scroll saw blade and I love the L shape here I can easily reach my iPod my bottle of water my cell phone stands there and also if I'm cutting out some something with multiple pieces I can easily just lay it over here without having to get up but this is the artisan pirate scroll saw area and the scroll saw is a 20 inch delta scroll saw let me put the camera back on a tripod and I'm gonna sit down and show you how I actually look from far away when scrolling and you'll see that my neck and shoulders are not hunched 
Okay, I've got the camera mounted back onto the tripod and you can kind of see here the severity of the angle or that's what people call it when they comment. They're like, why is your scroll saw on such a severe angle? And I'm about to get in my stool here, but as you can see, this is usually the angle I film from if I'm going to film something to post on social media like um, my Instagram page or Facebook page, so stuff like that. So let me get in my stool. There we go. And you can see I am very comfortable here. And I hope it's not cutting off the top of my head here. I've got the tripod fixed as best I can. But as you can see, and the foot switch here, I've got it from, I'm left-handed, so of course the switch is going to be on the left foot here, but turn on, turn off, and again, if you don't have one, you know, you can always use the switch, but you can see here, I can scroll for hours on end, and it's comfortable, and again, with the angle of the scroll saw, usually a waste piece will fall right down into the bucket below but really, really cool. I'm just going to cut out a basic shape, maybe a square or a circle or something, just to show you how it is for me and that I'm not like this when I'm scrolling. Well, not a circle or square, but really a shape in general. It kind of reminds me of a clove or St. Patrick's Day is hopefully approaching soon in spring as well. But really, really cool. And again, if the piece does not slide down, the waste bucket's there at my feet. But I just hope this helps some people and answers some questions as to why I have the scroll saw at an angle. And it's not mounted. That'll be the next question. Is it mounted? This scroll saw is heavy enough to stay on its own. At the very front of the workbench here at the lip of it. I've got a little piece of wood screwed to it that helps hold it in place if I would ever hit it or something to where it doesn't slide forward. But I don't have it screwed down to none of the blocks in the back or the feet up here at the front. So just keep that in mind. And if you would want to bolt yours down and find a way, by all means go for it. I've just never had an issue with it moving and I'm not aggressive with the scroll saw. I sound like a broken record when I say it, but take your time and let the blade do the work. I'm going to take the tension off of it, and that's also key, guys. At the end of a work day, take the tension off of your scroll saw. It don't take but a second to do it, especially if you have an older tension lever scroll saw like that. It saves the spring. It saves the tensioner and things like that, but really, really cool. Let me move the camera one more time, and we'll wrap up the video. And that is why my scroll saw is at the angle it's at. Keep in mind, again, all the measurements I have shared with you in this video are catered to my height. The scroll saw is now perfect for me, even though the workbenches aren't. Those were my grandfather's original workbenches, and I just cannot bear to take them out. I just work around it and modify stuff as need be. But really, really cool. This is one of the most common questions I get on my social media feeds as well as my YouTube videos. Why is the scroll saw angled? And I hope I've done the best of my abilities to educate you on why I do it. And again, it's comfort, comfort, comfort. Back in the day when I was first learning under my grandfather's guidance when I was 14, 15, 16, I was scrolling with the scroll saw flat, the old 16 inch delta scroll saw that I started learning on, which I still do have and use just for nostalgia purposes from time to time. You know, that one was perfectly flat and I would be at the old workbench on the work stool that my grandfather had out here, the table that used to be in the center of the workshop, if longtime subscribers can remember that, that was where the scroll saw was and I was hunched over just like always you know and I would scroll for about 30 minutes and even at a young age I would feel that fatigue in my neck and shoulder so I'd turn the scroll saw off walk over to the wood stove sit down with my grandfather share a cup of coffee with him and listen to his stories and just go back and forth and it was still at that time about making memories with my grandfather and learning a craft and a trade of my own but then I just happened to have the idea of elevating it and I think at first I put a 2x4 block under it then I went to a 4x4 block and then it just kind of snowballed from there and the more I elevated it the more comfortable I got and the longer I could sit and scroll and then of course I had to go back to the drawing board when I upgraded to the 20 inch delta scroll saw I think looking over here I've got it on a 4x4 
and a 2x4 block there in the back to elevate it to what I need to those angles that I showed you in the video today. Again, all catered to my height. You might have to play around with it, but everyone that's come over to the shop to visit and then eventually took a scroll saw lesson from me complimented on how natural it feels to sit there with it at an angle and they usually immediately go back to their home workshop if they have a scroll saw and elevate it. So that again just speaks for itself and I hope I've been able to help some people by showing them how to do that. Again I love teaching how to do the scroll saw. It's very therapeutic for me and now with the angle I can get the music going, put on my ear protection, put on my dust mask get the good music going and get lost in my world of sawdust but really really cool i hope you all have learned something here today if you're new here please consider subscribing to the channel and also follow me over on instagram at artisan pirate links to all my social medias as well as ways to contact me will always be linked down in the description box below these videos that's about all for this one and remember guys if i can make it or do it so can you i'm the artisan pirate take care and i'll see you guys real soon